Hello love. It has been a while since I posted a video. It has also been a while since I made my own paper. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I... <laughs> In the... In this video, I'm gonna show you the homemade recycled paper that I like to use for my photography prints. I love the texture this paper has. You can really use it for whatever. You can make a journal out of it if you know how to bind books. You can make birthday cards or even just paint on it. Anyway, I don't know if my technique is the proper way to make the paper, but the way I do it works for me and I love the results, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So let's get to it. First, rip a bowl of paper that you'd like to recycle and then fill up a bowl with water. Place all of your paper shreddings into the bowl to let them soak for a while. This makes it easier to blend up. While that soaks, we'll begin making the decal, which is what you use to strain the paper. There's actually a ton of options on Amazon for already made decals. But if you're super broke like me and just need to make one on a small budget, here's how. I bought two 8x10 picture frames from the Dollar Tree. You can use many different types of webbing for your decal. I'm using plastic window mesh that I got for like $5 and cut out my mesh to fit the frame. And then I use my staple gun to attach the mesh to just one frame. If you don't have a staple gun, you can just use a regular stapler. I'm also gonna cut out a second piece of window mesh that will help with our drying process. Now that the decal is made and our paper is soaked, we can start to blend it to make the pulp. I exclusively use this blender for paper making. I don't suggest using a blender that you use for food. I'm gonna add the shredded paper to the water base. I'll just keep going back and forth, adding more paper shreds and then more water until it gets to the correct consistency, which is goopy. Any size tub will work as long as your decal will fit. You fill it with water and then dump your pulp in. The more pulp you add, the thicker your paper will be. Before I strain out the paper, I wanna get my drying station ready. I just like to use the lid of the bin with a towel and then a piece of cotton on top of it. And now all you do is dip the decal in and swish it around and pull it up. It's a pretty simple process and it's a very forgiving process. So if you pull up and you don't like how it looks, just dip it back down and start again. When I like how the paper is looking, I bring it over to my drying station, and this is where that second piece of mesh comes into play. I place it on top of the no mesh side of the decal and sponge out the excess water. Flip the decal over without the other side of the frame, sponge it out some more, and I'm using a little squeegee towel to get out the rest of the water. Slowly lift up your decal, I flip the cotton over and prepare it for the next sheet of paper. I get out my clothes drying rack and hang the fabric over the rack to let the paper air dry without too much water buildup. Now I'm gonna show you guys a few ways to stylize the paper a little bit more. The first way is to dry the paper with an imprint in it. I follow all of the steps into making the paper except for the squeegee part. I place my paper on a plasticky surface, but I have wrote my Instagram name with some pop-out stickers. I'm pretty sure you can do this with anything that's water resistant. My second technique is making flower petal paper by plucking all the leaves off of these dried flowers I have, just little tiny stems, and adding them to my pulp. There are so many different ways that you can dye the pulp. Here, I'm just using paint. This is my first time using paint. In the past, I used food coloring. It stained my hands, so I don't know if, which one I recommend more. I've seen a lot of people use natural ingredients to stain the pulp. Tea bags or coffee grounds to make brown pulp, make the paper look aged more. There's so many different ways. One great way to keep recycling when you're done making your paper is to save your pulp. I do this by pouring what is left over into a strainer over my sink. 
so any of the chunky pulp will just build up in there and you can save it for later <laughs> because it's pink it kind of looks like brains in a jar <laughs> but I promise it works well. And I actually love using this little tub as my water basin because it can hold all of my paper making supplies for the next time I need it. <sighs> so I messed up and left this on the floor by my rabbits and they ate it. But I have another example of an imprinted piece of paper to show you. My other pieces in the drying rack look like they're completely dry now so I can peel them off. I love how this little flower one came out. Um, hopefully those flower pieces don't fall off. If you have some paper that ripped while you were taking it off the decal or just even while it was drying, you can always tear it and turn it into little pieces of paper. You know, write a little greeting card or draw a little picture for a friend. I don't like to waste any of it. Now that I've gotten all the pieces of paper off, I like to place a book over them just to flatten them out. I love making 8x10 paper because it runs through pretty much any printer. So here's my simple printer printing photos for me. And I love how the remnants of what the paper used to be still shows through on some of the prints. That's it. That's all. Please give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment, especially if I messed up somewhere and you know better technique. <laughs> if you're into art and photography, feel free to subscribe. I do post those kinds of videos sometimes. If you're already subscribed, I love you. Thank you for watching.